Hello and welcome to the Dundas BI how-to video for creating and viewing reports. This video will provide a short overview of what reports are, as well as a demonstration of how to create them in Dundas BI's Report Designer. Common properties of a report include, they contain detailed information, they are broken down by some kind of hierarchy, and each item in the hierarchy can be repeated, for example, a table for each country. They contain a mixture of textual and graphical information. They're suitable for printing, and they may span multiple pages. Here we've got the Dundas BI home screen, which is shown after logging on. The first thing I'm going to do is click the button for New Report. And let's give it a name, Demo Report. Here we've got the Report Designer. The designer has a bunch of sections which correspond to the various areas of the report. Any section can contain whatever content you want, text, charts, data, you name it. And you can use whatever layout you choose. There's no rigid structure which you're forced to use. We've got the page header section at the top. Anything in this section appears at the top of each page. Anything in the report header section appears once at the beginning of the report. At the bottom, we've got corresponding page footer and report footer sections. Page footers repeat at the end of each page, and the report footer appears at the end of the report. Finally, in the middle, we've got the content section, called a group. Each group has its own header, body, and footer sections. On the left side of the report designer, there are some things to help us out with the sections. The letters tell us which section is which, PH for page header and RH for report header, for example. The black bars tell us the vertical space which each section takes up. The circular arrows indicate those sections which should be repeated for each grouping member. Finally, there are resize controls which allow us to specify how much vertical space a specific section should take up. I'm not going to use a large report header, so I'll make that section smaller in order to save screen space for this demo. Now, let's build a report. The report we're going to build is going to show the total order count shipped in each calendar quarter. We're going to add a chart which shows the distribution of the orders across product categories. And finally, we're going to modify the chart so that the data is split by sales territory. We're going to build this report using the AdventureWorks OLAP cube from SQL Server Analysis Services, and I've already got a data connector set up for that data source. So I want my data to be split up by calendar quarter for ship date. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the ship date dimension and drag the calendar quarter onto this repeater drop zone. This tells the report that the body of the group should be repeated for each quarter. To show this working, I'll create a data label and bind it to the quarter name. Now, when we view the report, we'll see that we've got a row for each quarter in the calendar year. OK, so we want to see sales order counts. No problem. We'll just find the order count measure under sales orders and drag it onto the report. I'll just position and resize this so it looks presentable. Viewing the report again, we can see we've got our order counts. The next thing we wanted to do is display a chart which shows the breakdown of order counts across product categories. I'll drag the order count measure one more time, but this time I'll revisualize as a bar chart. Let's now drag on the product category dimension. Viewing again, we can see we've got our chart just the way we wanted. The last thing we wanted to do was have the chart split the data by sales territory. In order to do this, I'll find the sales territory dimension in the data explorer and drag the sales territory country into the data binding panel. I'm going to drag it into the columns drop zone, which causes a separate series to be created for each country. We can't really tell which color belongs to which country now, so let's add a legend, which is connected to the chart. Viewing one last time shows us our final product. One of the advanced features of reports is the ability to have nested groups. Let's say that for every quarter and every country, I wanted to show the orders breakdown by product category. I could use a child group to accomplish this by dragging the appropriate hierarchy into the child group drop zone. For more information on this topic, please see the Dundas BI support website. Thanks for watching the Creating and Viewing Reports video, part of the Dundas BI tutorial series. For more videos and articles in the series, please visit www.dundas.com support.